G'day, Hugh here from vrdesign.com.au, design company based on the Gold Coast in Australia, and thank you for joining me. Today I thought we'd have a look at uh, using a soft focus technique to create a real romantic feel uh, with a portrait. It's uh, simple to do in Photoshop, only requires a few steps, but it really creates that romantic look for your portraits. So let's get into Photoshop and see how it's done. Okay, so we have here a quite simple portrait with some nice uh, soft light in the background. And what we'll do is we'll use a soft focus technique to make this portrait look a little bit more romantic. So the first step is to turn the picture into two identical layers. Uh, to do this, we just come up to our background layer here and drag it down to the new layer icon, which is the second from right hold it over it and let go, and that creates two identical layers. The next step is to go to the filter menu and uh, come down to blur and choose Gaussian blur. Now, this is a, a really cool blur and it can, uh, it can have all sorts of different effects on your picture. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna blur this to about 10 pixels. So by sliding it up, to the right there. Then we can also just type in 10 to go there real quickly if we want to. So we'll set it at 10 and uh, for, that's probably gonna be good for this uh, photo looking at the hair and the background that we have. So we say okay to that. Now yes, it does look all blurred out. We can switch off the top layer and see where we're gonna be blurring. But we obviously want to retain details in the actual face. So what we want to do is probably reduce this uh, layer's opacity down by a fair bit to about 60%. And that will give us um, a, a little bit of chance to sharpen some things. Uh, depends on, on your picture and what you think um, needs to be done. Um, but that's a good start because her face is now becoming a bit more detailed. Now we've got other options here of um, you know using masks, but to do it simply, we can actually just grab a uh, elliptical marquee tool and just choose that sort of area that we want to sharpen up and keep everything else quite soft. So we don't want to infringe too much into the hair there, but uh, somewhere around there would be quite good. And when we've got that, we can just now go uh, select inverse, like so, right click, select inverse. So that uh, gives us basically the, uh, the whole of the outside of that circle, uh, keeping it blurred. And now we can go uh, to a lens blur and uh, really just really blur out the background. So come up to filter, blur, lens blur, wait for it to load up. And we're only looking at the background here. and. Uh, so we will just bring that radius down because it's majorly high at the moment. So bring it all the way down. Somewhere around sort of the low 20s. Or just be below it. So it gives us a nice uh, blurred effect. So we can just go Control D to deselect that. And now what we can do is just uh, zoom in on the face which is quite, it's looking quite nice. So I'll come back out one and I'll put a mask on by clicking the mask here. And uh, what we can do is just uh, grab a brush, make the size quite small, maybe around the 200 mark, somewhere around there. So what we want to do is because it's a white mask, we want to Flip the colors so black is foreground 
we just want to bring in just that little bit of detail now that looks pretty good because there's a detail in the, the eyes and the mouth so we can just uh, hit the screen and how much better does that look so this is uh, quite a nice portrait but it's harsh the lines are harsh the colors are harsh that is much more romantic looking now we can play around with some of the colors and that to make it even more romantic but look at the glow in her hair and the background and just uh, with the dress I mean we could come back to our mask here come back to our brush and just brush in some detail on the dress there it's quite nice so bring that in because that is quite a nice feature of this particular picture but yeah we don't need to do too much more than that and then we can compare the before and afters uh, for a very you know, romantic looking photo very nice so that's all you need to do really to use Photoshop to create quite a romantic looking portrait uh, you could do this for a wedding photo for a glamour photo just for uh, any sort of portraits that you have pay attention to you know fine details like this and obviously facial areas that you don't want to have too blurred out but the background and even uh, you know the the skin and the arms and the hair all blurred out so it's soft focus technique so it looks like we've used uh, a camera which really really has uh, a shallow depth of field okay so that's all for this tutorial i hope you've enjoyed it join me again in the future for another one bye for now